Well, hi everybody and welcome to my video. Today I just got back from the thrift store and let me tell you what, it was like going through grandma's attic. So somebody donated a lot of things that were very old and the prices were just right. I felt like the prices were a little cheaper than what they normally are. So I thought I'd sit down with you outside and show you what I got this week at the thrift store. I am really trying to buy things that are antiques that hold their value and well, you know I love books. So we're going to start off right away with the book for $2. Now this book is really worn and it has that old book smell to it. I'm sure some of you can understand at the library sometimes it has that smell. I absolutely love that smell. It brings back a lot of childhood memories of mine when we would go to my grandma's house, my grandma had a closet and that was where she kept all her children's toys and the books. And the books always had that <laughs> musty smell. <laughs> and I, it just brings back so many memories. Anyhow, so here you go. This was the Betty Crocker's cookbook for $2 and I got this. Oh, we're not done yet. Now, they did not know what this is. These are very expensive. On Amazon, you're paying a couple dollars a piece for these at least. For 25 cents, I got this. Some of you remember I made a lot of spaghetti sauce in these. So you can buy them new, but for 25 cents, you better believe it. I went and quickly got this because this is a good deal. I wish they had more of these. And then for $1.50 each, I got these. Now, $1.50, that was very cheap for them because it doesn't have the rubber gasket. But have no fear, Tessie's here, because I think I have the right thing that we need. I got these a couple years ago for 50 cents, and I think they fit on here. We're gonna give it a try. So I got this one for $1.50. This one for $1.50, and this one looks really old. And I got this one for $1.50. So, let's see if we can get it to work. So they were cheap because it didn't have the rubber seal. These are brand new rubber seals. Now, I don't think these fit perfectly, but I do have more. And each one of these is a little bit, you know what? I think they do, just wait. Oh yes, they do. <gasps> Unbelievable. I absolutely got the right seals for these. <laughs> I'm so super duper excited because you know what? When you don't throw things away, you end up having things that you actually need. I can't believe it. I love it. So I got this too. Then I got these jars for 25 cents each. Now these are just your average everyday jars. These are not antiques, but I love them because I'm gonna be using these for something I'm working on. I always say that, don't I? Unless you watch my videos every day, you're going to be missing out on a lot of stuff because I work on things every day. Okay, let's keep going. For 50 cents, I got this. I just love strawberries. And then these were brand new for, 20, for 50 cents for two of them. And I thought they were really, really unique. They're brand new. So somebody made them. Or they bought them. I don't know. There was a lot of them. I got them. And of course, I had to get some very vintage, and this is golf wax, which I use for all of my jams and jellies, which I have lots of videos on that. 
Got another jar. Oh, for a quarter. And then I got these big matches for $2. I'm gonna find something to put these in. I'm hoping I can find a glass jar big enough. For $2, I got all of these. These are great for all of the projects that I do outside. We have barbecues all the time. I was hoping it would fit in here, but it doesn't. I could cut them, but I really don't want to cut them. So, $2. Now, as you can tell, I did spend a little money. I spent a whopping $12.74. But I did get a very old antique vintage basket. And this was $2.99. Now I will not be having this outside. I will keep this in the house because I think it is fabulous. And it has that very vintage look to it. And I absolutely love it. All right, everyone, that concludes the thrift store find. And then I'm gonna show you what my friend Chris from City Girl Homestead. She won an auction online and she gave something for me. All right, City Girl Homestead won this on an online auction. And let me show you what she got me. I'm gonna show you first the two jars because they are absolutely amazing. The Liberty Bell jars. <gasps> these are neat. And no, I'm not canning with them, but they are amazing. I'm gonna use these for some special seasonings of mine. Liberty 1776 to 1976. So I was six years old when these were in the store. So basically they were they had cherries in them. So they actually were canned from the grocery store and they had cherries in them. Aren't they neat? I love them because you know I love all kinds of jars, any kind of jar, just so unique. And then she got me all of these. So look at all these. I'm not gonna go through every single one of them. But she got me all of these ribbons. And I have a bin just for ribbons. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these in my craft room. And they are really nice. I love these ribbons. This one here I thought was really neat. This reminds me back in the 80s. I really like that. That's neat. It reminds me of what a gold medal, gold medal ones. I can wear a gold medal. Oh, this matches. Well, kinda. <laughs> I could say I'm the winner winner of chicken dinner thank you so much for Chris City Girl Homestead I will share her channel in the description box below and at the end of this video thank you guys so much for watching another thrifty Thursday I think we raided grandma's attic and boy did we have some fun take care everyone we'll see you guys again tomorrow bye everybody mm -hmm.